All right, Shalom Yashirala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahashai, Bahashem Chakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Chakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders, the Great Millstone, who still go to the highways and byways and feed us with 100% truth. According to the Bible and Ruel and Shalawam, Labakarium, Wabarakim, Shayashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, and back at it again with another lesson to the spirit and the power of Yahab Bashim Al Shai Bashim Bachakwadash. The name of this lesson is going to be called The Prophets of Old. Were they prophets of doom? You know, because you had DJ Donald Trump, you know what I'm saying, saying that um was a uh, uh, said the prophets of doom, man, which we already know who they're talking about, you know, do the spirit of the by Shema Shai. So we're going to go on according to the scriptures. We're going to see according to the Bible, which they swear upon, right? They swear in these courtrooms on the on the, in the on the Bible, right? But let's see if the prophets of old were prophets of doom, man. Let's see if they prophesied of doom. And then we're going to get the definition of doom, you know. This is the book of, uh, we're going to start off with the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets had the, I'm sorry, the prophets who had been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against the great kingdoms. Exactly. So the prophets of old, you know, uh, prophesied uh, against great kingdoms, man. You know, they prophesied against it. They didn't prophesy for it, you know. So pretty much they was uh, condemning it, man. What's the word condemn meaning a, a wishing um death and destruction, man? You know, upon somebody. You know? So let me read this again. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets who had been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Exactly. That's that like the prophet that sounds like the prophets of doom to me. You know? What's the word doom? When you look it up in the Google dictionary. It mean in death, destruction, or some other terrible fate. Exactly. And what fate is America is going to uh, is going to face, man? What is the destiny or faith of America? As a matter of fact, let's let's get it because the prophets, you know, what I'm saying, which you do the spirit power by Shemel Shah, starting off with our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, you know, are going to prophesy the destiny or the fate of America, man. You know, so this is the book of uh, 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 Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Behold, what's the word behold meaning to look, right? The eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord are the angels, man. The angels are, uh, are, are watching what's going on here in America, man. The laws that's being passed, you know, the, uh, the, the, the abominations, which are wicked, filthy acts that goes on here. I give you some examples, you know, sodomy. AKA homosexuality, you know, you got a uh, pedophilia, you got bestiality, you got a uh, necrophilia, you know, you have uh, adultery, you have a, uh, 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 what else? You got murder, you know, you have uh, a stealing, you know, with credit frauds and, and taxations and stuff like that. You know, all this is being promoted here in America, man. This is that sinful kingdom that it's talking about. And this kingdom, this sinful kingdom is, is, is influencing the uh the uh the other countries uh in the in the four corners of the earth man you know so this is the book of amos chapter 9 verse 8 one more time behold the eyes of the lord power are upon the sinful kingdom which is america and i will destroy it from out the face of the earth exactly man see and this is the spirit of yahweh by shim al who the word even calls god and jesus christ the lord said he was going to destroy it about the face of the earth, man. That means it's doomed to me. That sounds like death and destruction to me, according to the Bible. You know, um, saving, which that word saving means except I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. And that house of Jacob that is talking about is talking about the the elect. You know, he's not going to destroy the elect. You know, in the one third. You know, men, women, and children. You know, he's not going to destroy them. He's going to uh, deliver them from the destruction that is going to bring upon the sinful kingdom, man. So that sounds like doom to me. That sounds like death and destruction and a terrible fate to me. 
from Yahweh by Shimei Arashai. So back in Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that had been before me and the prophet, uh, the prophets that had been before me uh, and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. We saying World War Three is uh, already here, but it's going to amplify. And of evil, the word E, it's a, it's a compound word. E meaning time, ill meaning bad, right? So bad times are coming, you know, and uh, and a pestilence. And we see pestilence. You got the coronavirus, you know, we, you got the coronavirus running rampant. So Yahabai Shimasha is slowly turning it up. The heat in the kitchen, man. Yahabai Shimasha is slowly amplifying the prophecies, man. The prophecies are popping like popcorn right about now, you know. So this is this is exactly what the prophets of old are prophesied, and this is exactly what the prophets of today are prophesying because they come in the same spirit. The spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, man. So the prophets, if the prophets back then was prophesying death and destruction upon countries and great kingdoms, what do you think the prophets today are going to be prophesying, man? The same message, man. You know, uh, destruction. You know. And through the spirit of Pah Yahweh by Shema Hashah, because we speak this word, is going to come to pass because we speak according to the word of the Lord. So now we're going to go to the book of uh, 1 Samuel. Let's go to 1 Samuel. We're going to get a couple of scriptures here. This is the book of 1 Samuel 16. Let's see, was it 16 and 4? Yeah, this is the book of 1 Samuel 16, verse 4. And Samuel did that which Yahweh spoke and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peacefully? Exactly. See, see when the prophets came to the uh, uh to a, a a town, a city, or a village, or a country, so to speak, you know they they tremble. They tremble at the, at the coming of the prophets, man. You know, not because they were tough, that not because they was tough guys, but because the message that they was carrying, man, because they had the spirit of Yahweh Bashimasha upon them. You know, that's why the elder said, come us down peacefully. Like, what's, what message are we going to come with today? Are you going to come with the message of destruction or peace? But at this particular at this particular time, you know, Samuel said, I come peacefully, man. You know, so he came with a message of peace because he was coming for uh to anoint uh, King David, you know, a, a, a king of Israel, you know, so it was a peaceful message. But, you know. But the main point of that scripture was, uh, you know, uh, if, if if we was a prophet of peace, right? Why would the elders of the town say to a prophet of peace, are you going to come peacefully? You know, are you going to uh, give a message of peace if the prophet was of peace back then? You know, so that proves that the prophets of old prophesied of destruction, prophesied of doom. The same thing that we're doing today through the spirit of Pavi Habash Shimei Shai. Because they had the spirit of the Lord upon them, and we have the spirit of Yahweh Shimon upon us, you know. So, um, and our people are supposed to be trembling at this word, but of course they're not, you know. So now we're gonna go to the book of. As a matter of fact, our Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world is gonna call Jesus Christ, uh, a prophesied of destruction, of, of of doom. Let's see, let's get it. So this is the book of Matthew. Uh, this is the book of Matthew 10 and 34. So, yeah, this is the book of Matthew 10 verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. See, the Lord Yahusha said, don't think that it's coming back to send peace on earth, man. Of all the wickedness and abomination that's going on. Don't think that it's coming back with peace, right? Uh, I came not to send peace, but a sword. Exactly, man. Because at the time that Lord Yahusha was on the scene, you know, at that time, Lord Yahweh Shah wasn't, um, uh, didn't come as a lion. He came as a, uh, he came as a, uh, a lamb, you know, but this time when we see the Lord, he's going to come back as a lion, you know, he's going to come back and, and start conquering stuff. He's going to start tearing some stuff up, you know what I'm saying? Through the spirit, you know, let me read this one more time. This is the book of uh, Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, you know, and what, and what do you do with a sword? Is a sword a, a, a peaceful instrument? Is a sword a, a, a weapon of peace or is a sword a weapon of war, a weapon of destruction or a weapon of doom, a weapon of judgment? 
I'm pretty sure uh, a sword is a weapon of judgment, of doom, of destruction, you know? So that's exactly what Yahweh Shah is coming with, man. He's going to come back with destruction, man, you know? He's not going to come back at that, as that peaceful lamb that he was, that he was when he came on the scene as Yahweh Shai. He's going to come back in that uh, angelic glory, uh, glorified in the glory body, man. You know, and come back and start destroying stuff, man. You know? So even Lord Yahweh Shai is said, he ain't going to come back with peace. He's going to come back with destruction, man. You know? So, so yeah. <clears throat> So even though yeah, I was shy prophesied of, of, of coming back with destruction, you know. So now we're gonna go to the book of uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see what this says. Um, let me get this. Bear with me for one moment, Akiyom. Let me see. Uh, yeah, this is the book of uh Matthew twenty four verse thirty seven. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Who is the Son of Man? The Son of Man is another title for Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. You know? But let's see what they was doing back in the time of Noah. For as in the days of like that for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. So pretty much everybody was uh 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 in that folly spirit, man, that mirth spirit. You know, the same spirit that our people are in today. You know, in the rest of the world who are not in the um and not in the truth, you know, they're walking in darkness and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be so that the flood. So rain started coming out of the sky uh, unexpectedly, man, suddenly, man, while that was partying, not giving a, a care in the world for the Lord. Then the Lord came and destroyed them, man. You know, and only saved eight souls, you know, Noah and his family, man. You know, but the rest of the world or the rest of the people, as I should say, were destroyed, man, by the flood, the first death. So, the, uh, and that, during that time of Noah was building that ark, you know, the, Noah was prophesying, man, you know, of doom. Telling them to, uh, uh, to repent, you know what I'm saying, and, and come back, you know, <laughs> the same message they have today. He was prophesying of doom, man, and they didn't... Uh, come back and serve the Lord, they was going to be flooded. They was going to be destroyed. And guess what? They got destroyed. So the, uh, Noah was a prophet of doom. Uh, Lawyer Howard Shah, the word early called Jesus Christ, was a prophet of doom. Uh, who else did I read? Uh, Amos. Amos was a prophet of doom. You know? Uh, who else did I read? Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a prophet of doom. You know? Uh, uh, Samuel, you know? <laughs> And we come like the same like spirit of the, uh, the prophets of old, man. You know, and this is according to the Bible. This is thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, the same Bible that they swear in on these courts. You know, same Bible. You know. So yeah, so when, when Donald Trump was talking about the prophets of doom, you know, hey, he was correct. You know, because we are, our message is that the Lord is going to come with death and destruction, according to the Bible, in a terrible fate. According to the Bible, man, and that terrible fate that's going to befall America, man, you know, and everybody that's not right with the Lord is destruction, death and destruction. Whoa, you know, you know, woe to the bloody city, right? You know, it is full of lies and robbery, you know, so that's what's going to come destruction. So, hey, with that, Lord, when this video is edifying. For Yakim's out there that's watching, do the spirit of Pavia by Shima Asha by Shima Chakwatash. You know, before going any further, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim Chakwatash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam, Labakari, and Wabarakim, Shayashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. As a matter of fact, I think one more preacher just came into my head. Um, let me see right quick. Um, I believe so. Yeah, because as you see on the screen, you can read the scripture on the screen about the, the, the account of Noah, you know. As a matter of fact, I'll read it. This is the book of uh, Hebrews. Uh, matter of fact, Hebrews 11 and 1. 
Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, and that goes into the understanding. Faith is the understanding of things hoped for, the understanding of things not seen, man. So although we might not see heavenly things with our physical fleshly eyes, but through the spirit of Pavi Abashim Shah, we know that they're there, man. And we understand it because the Lord has put the spirit upon us to understand the spiritual things, right? Verse 7, by faith, Noah, being warned of Yahweh, of, Yahweh, of things not yet seen, which was that rain, because our people didn't believe that rain was going to come down from the sky and flood them, you know, as Noah was prophesying, right? Uh, um, uh, move with fear, because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, right? You know, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by which he condemned the world. The word, the word world, there is cosmos, you know, and our people. And became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. Exactly, man. So Noah was delivered, man. Because he moved with fear of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai. So therefore, he did what the Lord told him to do. Prophesy and building that ark. And, and, and when the time was come for that destruction to come, the Lord uh, saved him, man. You know, the Lord um, uh, was a man of his word, man. You know, the Lord uh, uh, um, uh, delivered Noah. Uh, during that time, man, and, he, he, and Noah was a prophet of doom, man. He, he prophesied that uh, 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 it was going to rain, man. You know, and destroy everybody, and did nobody listen. So therefore, the majority of the people got destroyed, and Noah was saved, and Noah was saved, and his household was saved off of him, man, because of his works. You know, so that until next time, I say shalom, Akim, shalom, and the word of them go back to um. Uh, wishing uh, a death and destruction and judgment on a, a people, man. You know, when you condemn somebody, you wishing harm to them. You know, you wishing harm to them, you wishing death and destruction to them. You know, so hey, with that, till next time, shalom.